290-pound strangler Steve DeSalvo, the big man from Los Angeles, against the seasoned vet Goldie Rogers, 223 out of Hollywood. The referee, Jurgen Herman, were slated for one fall, 20 minutes. The match has yet to really get underway, although the bell has rung. You gotta favor DeSalvo. Well, I don't know why you should say that you got the favor to sell but listen he's in there with a crafty veteran and listen Goldie Rogers has won big matches all through his wrestling career so I would think that Goldie Rogers is a pushover for nobody especially Steve DeSalvo well I don't know about that he's making that big production that he always makes taking off that unbelievably loud jacket and then he'll doff the sunglasses but I can tell you if he takes very much longer DeSalvo is going to be all over him like ugly on an ape. He wants DeSalvo to make his mistake now. Uh, Goldie Rogers is not a dumb person. He's a fine, outstanding athlete. And I'll tell you, I think DeSalvo's in for a big surprise. Well, you may be just about alone, although there are several members here of the Goldie Rogers fan club. DeSalvo looks like he's impatient. There goes the sunglasses. What did I tell you? And DeSalvo made a mistake. He turned his back at Goldie. As a veteran that he is, hey, he took advantage of it. Well, he's a bit of a sneak. He ambushed DeSalvo from behind, and he's going after those eyes. DeSalvo, of course, wearing that mask because he had some strange, toxic substance thrown in his face some time ago by Karachi Vice, and right away it's Rogers going after those eyes. Well, I just think that he's a wanted criminal. I think he's wanted by the Justice Department because I don't think he has to wear that mask. There's something he's hiding, and we really don't know what it's all about. Sure, he may get hurt, but hey, listen, if you're tough, you can wrestle without the mask. Well, personally, I don't know why he is continuing to wear that mask, and I will ask him about that following this boat, but look at Rogers. This has got to be a surprise to almost everybody. Goldie Rogers, after that ambush, has totally dominated. DeSalvo hasn't had one moment to get on track. Well, I told you in the past, I told you last week, like I told Ed Whalen, hey, you can't take Goldie uh, lightly. When you take him lightly, that's your, hey, that's the mistake of your lifetime. And now he's really putting a number on DeSalvo. What an upset victory if Goldie can come through. DeSalvo turns him around off the ropes, and look at that. Rogers lands with a splat. Felt like he fell off a building. Whammo! That should do it. Illegal hair pulling. I give him a DDT, but the referee didn't see it. DeSalvo now talking to the crowd. They're, they're eager to see what he's going to do. Oh, he hangs him up to dry. Fires him down onto the canvas. DeSalvo just wants to punish Goldie Rogers. Two violations in less than 30 seconds, and the referee never did nothing. DeSalvo picks up his man, throws him into the ropes, and it, it now looks like DeSalvo is toying with Goldie Rogers. Well, he's got Goldie Rogers where he wants him right now with the advantage of the referee. I think the referee should have thrown a couple yellow cards at DeSalvo. When he gave the DTT a little earlier in the match, he used the hair to do it. There's that big clothesline from those massive arms of Strangler Steve DeSalvo. Oh, look at that elbow. I'll tell you, Goldie Rogers was looking at that elbow. Well, I think it's just about over now. I think I've got to turn my uh, attitude towards the cell because he's really taking it to Goldie Rogers more than I thought he would. The salvo, 290 pounds worth of muscle, and he is manhandling Goldie Rogers in the corner, giving him elbows and knees, and Rogers... Looks like he's taken up residency on Strange Street. Power slam, one, two, three. What about that, Bulldog? Oh, I can tell you it's a very decisive win for Steve DeSalvo.